BFM 89.9, good morning. I'm Melissa Idris and I'm back. I'm not fully 100%. I've been a bit sick, but um, Sherrod Kutan, being the slave driver that he is, has got me to cover for him today. But um, I apologize for the voice that he thinks sounds like a tranny. Today is Monday, the 26th of May. Anyway, um, if you were anything like me watching the Thomas Cup last night up late, um, you won't be surprised to know that almost all the papers have Thomas Cup coverage on the front pages. Um, Heartbreak in Delhi says the star. We've got just out of reach, says Malay Mail. So, so close, says NST. Also, Sinar says Harapan Musna. It all sounds a bit like breakup songs to me, you know, like so close. We almost had it all. This is where you cue the song. But yeah, lots of sadness across the papers. I think um, a lot of heartbreak because we were all rooting for them to win. We were so close. Uh, but still, well played. Well played, Darren. You, you carried us all to the end. In other news, we've got a new tiger in town. We've got Ram Karpal Singh. He is the new tiger. Now, he's been pushed to the free of the front page real estate overshadowed by the Thomas Cup but um, he did win yesterday's by-election uh, by more than 37,000 votes although um, it was one of the lowest voter turnout in the history of by-elections so I'm not sure what went wrong there I guess people just expected him to win and by his landslide in other tiger news see what I did there Tamil Tigers nabbed says the Sun um, three key members of the Tamil Tigers Sri Lankan Tamil Tigers have been hiding out in Malaysia for 10 years and they've been nabbed they've been actually using um, a, a refugee status under the UNHCR and they're actually quite there people um, three of them said to be deputy chief of air wings intelligent um, intelligence chief and deputy head of media relations so these aren't small fry they're big fish um, and they've been hiding here for 10 years so apparently police are now expected to screen over 4,000 Sri Lankan refugees to see whether they have any um, affiliation or any connection, any possible involvement. Moving on, we have NST covering uh, the diesel smuggling issue with the sun as well. Uh, Syndicate Dibongkar, more diesel smuggling. The story has been going on for a while, so NST and Utusan giving them a little bit more coverage today. Last of all, we have Brita Harian on the Jakim story. Now, this is the story where pig DNA was found in Cadbury chocolates. Um, so, Jakim is calling Cadbury for a meeting. Uh oh, uh, we'll find out more about that once they've met and then they'll reveal the details of that meeting to us. That's all I have for you today on the headlines. It was a riveting Sunday. My word of the day is come back because I'm back and we will come back from this. Hopefully it won't take 22 years but we will kick somebody's you know what um, and get the Thomas Cup back to where it belongs. I'm Melissa Idris signing off for today's morning headlines. BFM 89.9